hi guys in today's video i'll be showing you one of my favorite hair treatments using moringa and i will show you how i make this hair treatment it is known to increase hair growth and repair the hair strands and thicken the hair as well so if you enjoy these type of videos please stay tuned I'm now showing you all the ingredients that I'm going to use to make this conditioning treatment and I use this conditioning treatment once in two months. Here I've got an old container because recycling is life and I've got a few of these containers so you're going to see that container quite often. But I'm going to pour the Cream of Nature Aquan Oil brand into the container. I don't really measure at this point because I measure with my eyes. Um, and sometimes I pour more depending on what my hair needs at that point. But I try to make sure that the amount that I pour in the container is going to be the same amount as the hair my needs, as you will see shortly. Now I'm going to add the hair mayonnaise to the deep conditioner and I use two tablespoons of the hair mayonnaise. I believe that's the same amount as the deep conditioner. I measure with my eyes, like I said, so I think that's the same amount. But it's important to stress that the hair mayonnaise is a protein treatment. And if your hair is really sensitive to protein, I would say use this treatment once in three months um because protein treatments are very good because they help strengthen the hair and prevent breakage but if you have protein overload it's going to make your hair really dry and strong and that will make it more susceptible to breakage and that's not what we want so use it with caution i'm now going to add some tresemme conditioner to the treatment because it has a lot of slip it's not very moisturizing but it has a lot of slip so it makes it very easy for me to detangle and separate my hair so that's why i'm adding that i then add some extra virgin olive oil because it makes the treatment more moisturizing it adds sheen to my hair and i feel like it makes it very easy for me to separate and detangle my hair because i'll be doing some finger detangling and i need all the slip in the world so why not <laughs> Here I'm adding one teaspoon of honey to the mixture because it gives my hair a lot of slip. It makes it very moisturized. So I always add honey and olive oil to my hair treatments. And the last ingredient is moringa. Um, I use a teaspoon of just one teaspoon of moringa because if I use it in excess, it becomes really drying on my hair. It makes my hair feel really limp. So it's important not to use too much. This is how my hair looks a day after I washed my hair. It was quite dry at this point because I waited a whole day to deep condition my hair because I was so tired and I washed my hair quite late at night so what i'm doing here is spritzing my hair with water first i've realized that if my hair is slightly damp when i am deep conditioning my hair my hair is more receptive to the conditioner once my hair is slightly damp i gently separate my hair a bit and try and elongate the hair first before i apply the deep conditioner to my hair this is how the conditioner looks like or the treatment looks like. It has this thick consistency and um, I don't like it when my conditioner is too light. I love it when it's a bit thicker so this is just perfect for my hair and now I'm going to apply it onto my hair. I make sure that as I do this I slightly finger detangle my hair as well and the key is to make sure that your hair is completely saturated with this conditioner or treatment here i'm separating the hair so that i can make sure that i apply the treatment onto my roots as well 
I know I always preach that the ends are very vulnerable and they deserve a lot of love because they are the weakest part of your hair but it's also essential to make sure that you are not neglecting your roots as well because they are usually the thickest part and they get tangled um, up very very easily at least for me it does so I'm making sure that I'm applying the conditioner or treatment to the roots as well so that I can easily detangle my hair now that I'm doing that I will explain the benefits of moringa for hair growth it contains nutrients like vitamins a and e it also has zinc which promotes healthy hair as it strengthens the hair follicles and prevents breakage and we know that with natural hair that we are not retaining the hair length or retaining hair length because we're breaking our hair as it's growing so we're not seeing the growth but it is important to add nutrients or um, treatments that can help aid um, hair growth and strengthening the hair so that it doesn't break off as it grows. It also has minerals and ingredients that helps to restore hair growth and promote hair growth and repair damage. Moreover, Moringa helps to thicken the hair because it has omega-3 fatty acids and it plumbs the hair strands with these fatty acids which overall leads to thicker hair. It's important to add that Moringa can and will stain your favourite top. So do not wear your favourite top when you are doing this treatment. Wear an old top that you don't really care about or wear something that is very dark coloured because it will stain. Once I'm done finger detangling or separating my hair strands, that's when I use my tangle teaser. If you're a type of person who believes, oh, I don't see the point of finger detangling or you think it's a waste of time and you still want to use a detangling tool like a comb or a tangle teaser, I will highly suggest that you separate your hair strands first because at least you can feel the mats and the knots first and then you can use your tangle teaser or your comb to detangle your hair and when you're using a comb but make sure you're using a white tube comb but for me the best detangling tool is a tangle teaser because i feel like it's more gentler um on my hair strands than using a white tube comb now that i'm done detangling my hair i just twist up my hair and Make sure it's out of the way so that I can focus my attention on the other hair strands. I am now going to repeat what I did on the first section. I hope you continue to enjoy this video. Please don't forget to like and comment and subscribe because that will help the YouTube algorithm to know that um, people enjoy this type of content and it will help push the video to other audiences that like enjoying um natural hair videos so they get to see my contents as well so please don't forget to like and subscribe Now that I'm done applying the hair treatment onto my hair, I tie my hair up in a low bun and then I put my shower cap on my head and put on my Huda dryer. So I sit underneath the Huda dryer for about 20 minutes. If you have never tried deep conditioning or using heat when you apply your deep conditioner or your hair treatment, I highly suggest that you do this because it is going to make your hair feel very moisturized because the heat will make it easier for the treatment to penetrate into the hair shaft and do its magic so definitely try that 
now it's been 20 minutes since i've sat underneath the hooded dryer so i'm going to remove the shower cap and unravel my twist so that i can show you how moisturized my hair looks and at that point my hair felt so soft it felt really juicy <laughs> it felt so nourished and it was flourishing here like look at that you can see the curl definition my hair usually never looks like this <laughs> unless i have a deep conditioned my hair and it felt so great i knew that after washing the treatment out of my hair it was just going to be very easy for me to detangle and i wouldn't actually have to detangle my hair anymore it would, it would be so easy for me to style my hair because my hair is really moisturized and i was loving the way it was feeling here i'm retwisting my hair back up because i will be rinsing the conditioner from my hair and i love to wash my hair or rinse conditioners out of my hair when my hair is in twist because it makes it easier for me and it reduces the shrinkage that i will have and that reduces the amount of tangles and matting that i will have but this is the end of the video. I want to say a huge thank you for watching till the end. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And thank you. See you next time. Bye.